Well, all right, all right. I guess in this video, I'm going to talk briefly about uh, the Bamboo Lab uh, cloud service, right? Uh, now, if you have one of the X1 Carbons or the P1Ps, P1S, which, whichever one you have, uh, you've probably heard about this. Uh, it was very recent, and and I believe it was the 15th of this month uh, when everybody woke up. There was a lot of guys that woke up and found out that their printer started printing away uh, another file, you know, without them queuing it, right? And in this case, I'm assuming that you know the the printers were on, everything was on. They probably had a print going on. They went to bed um, expecting to have a finished product when they wake up. During that time, like I said, it they you know the the printer went on without them and printed another copy and probably you know banged around whatever was already on the on on the bed. Um, and some might have damaged and I can see how that could uh, that could happen if it's banging around like that they could bend the nozzle they could uh, just anything right um, now I it that did not happen to me uh, I was lucky uh, I usually have everything turned off at night I don't like to keep everything on uh, especially something that handles that high of heat and no I think it's way too dangerous I just take everything <laughs> uh, I take care of everything during the day. I don't leave anything on overnight unless I'm going to be there, right? Well, in this case, I woke up in the morning and I turned on everything trying to get a print going and it just would not uh, the cloud service, you know, it would it would send the file but it would never reach the printer, right? And I was kind of uh disgruntled to say the least I mean I was using one for for production stuff I need to keep that thing going and well I had to, I just shut everything down waited a while I'm sure it was like okay their cloud service is down it's probably not going to be that bad it won't be for that long and sure enough when you know when I you know came back turned it on and everything was pretty fine but this comes after um, an ordeal with with the latest uh, firmware upgrades that I would I was fighting with for the last couple of weeks and I finally got everything printing the way it should be printing and then boom then that happened but uh, and I, I'm sure it, it raised a lot of concerns with everybody but luckily you know let me tell you that it looks like you know bamboo labs they they are trying to be pretty uh, transparent about everything they're they're explaining what went wrong, what they think caused it, and measures they're taking to so that it won't happen again. Right. So kudos to them. Uh, but it definitely still raised a lot of concerns about the the cloud service, and and this has always been from the start where some guys really don't want to use the cloud service. They they want to keep it within their their local land. Right. And. Uh, no need for external, you know, uh, services like that. They're saying, well, what, what about their, their, their files, their, their prints um, are proprietary, they're confidential. It just opens doors where, you know, who's stealing what information or whatever, right? So I, I think that's going to, uh, that concern is going to highlight again uh, after this latest, you know, debacle. Uh, Looks like everything's fixed, but but I can see the point. You know, there's some some stuff uh, I would like to do uh, print without the cloud service. And there's a lot of competitors too. Is it the K1, the Creality uh, printer that you can uh, you can print without any cloud service like that? It's just a direct connection connection in your network. Uh, and that's the way I would like to to, to operate also. But when you do that, uh, there is a way to do it, but you kind of give up kind of a main feature that I really like. So if you switch over and, and, and you're not using the cloud service, well, you can't use the, the Bamboo Lab uh, Handy app, um, which I really like. I mean, because a lot of times I'm not in the same room with the printer and I like to monitor my work my, and, and progress and 
uh, any uh, any errors, failures, anything like that, you're notified right away. Um, and and I carry this with me everywhere I go, and I really really like the Handy, right? The Handy app. Uh, but if you decide to switch over, well, you can't do that anymore. But I can show you there's an easy way to switch over and uh, and just set your print over to be a uh, LAN only. Now one way is to simply go to the printer. Um, here's the screen. Go to settings and network and there's the LAN only. You just click that over to LAN only and uh, and that's it. Right? Uh, pretty easy. The other way is to to print using the SD card and so you just pop it in put your file on there pop it back pop it back in and uh, and you're good to go yeah so it's pretty easy it's just uh, flipping the switch or uh, just using your SD card uh, which is no big deal I was used to that you know I have a you can see behind me I still have some Ender 3's back there that uh, I have to admit I, I don't use them a lot anymore but I keep them for backup um, I have the P1P back here and behind the camera there's the X1 Carbon and I use them a lot right now I'm, I'm prepared to start looking for uh, another printer uh, will it be another bamboo lab I don't know uh, I'll make up my mind sooner or later but but the point is you know just uh, I can bypass the cloud service but without using the handy app and well that that's just the price you pay right now if if you want to do that you just give up uh, uh, you give up the app what I would like to see someday is uh, you know with these Ender 3's and everything uh, I used to have a you know a small printer farm of those and and I always ran Octoprint um, and I'd like to see something like that that would be compatible with the bamboo lab printers uh, so that you know whether it be the uh, something like Octoprint you know through a, a Raspberry Pi or something and so you can monitor your uh, your printers in much the same way you won't have as much control maybe or maybe we will yeah I just like that feature of having the, the camera operating and being able to monitor the progress or any kind of uh, error or fault that happens you know right away yeah because that's if you have a you know uh, even a, even just a small print farm or just a few in your house it's it's almost a must-have to, to have an app right just about everything you needs an app right <laughs> just about everything these days everything's Bluetooth and everything has an app right? but uh, but that's about it. If you're deciding to, uh, if you have second thoughts about using the cloud service, well, you can bypass it. And it's it's very very easy. But I'll definitely keep my eye out for any other options. Um, if something from Octoprint comes out, um, I'm definitely going to dive on it and test it out, and I'll let everybody know. So I guess that is it for this video. So as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.